Yeah, uh, I asked Emily to, uh, to gather everybody real quick so I can let everyone know that I had a great conversation with Shane Beamer. And uh, I will be uh, their defensive backs coach moving forward. Uh, just uh, uh, my raw athletic ability was something that he could not overlook in his decision making. So I uh, appreciate it. And uh, I hope everyone has a great night. Uh, on a serious, serious note, I just, uh, uh, Emily and I, had a conversation earlier today and school felt that uh, I should, uh, uh, you know, let everyone know just uh, so we can, uh, like we always are transparent and, uh, and let everyone know where we stand. Uh, it's uh, looking like at the earliest that we'll be allowed uh, to reconvene as a team will be to practice will be next Thursday. Uh, so therefore, um, uh, the, the two games that we had scheduled, uh, that's the reason why they were canceled. And obviously that's also assuming that between now and then, uh, the testing uh, continues to be negative uh, for, for everyone that has not been a positive up to this point. So uh, we're kind of in a holding pattern, uh, but just uh, I know we spoke a couple of days ago and we were not aware of all this craziness when we did that. So we, we just want to give you a clearer picture of what we're looking at. Dave, you can go ahead and get us started. Hey, Frank, thanks for doing this. Uh, first off, are you okay? And are all the kids okay? Not, not looking for specific names, but is everybody, you know, doing well in isolation? Uh, yeah, I mean, Dave, it's, uh, uh, the, it's not an ideal thing uh, to, 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 to isolate. We're human beings. We don't, enjoy being by ourselves uh, uh, pretty much 24 hours a day for an extended period of time. Uh, but, uh, uh, but you know, right now, health is what matters, both physical and mental. And uh, the guys, their spirits are still pretty good. Um, and, uh, you know, that's all we're focusing in right now is keep their spirits in a good place. And also, you mentioned next Thursday is probably the, the best case when you guys could return to practice. Would you feel comfortable still playing – the Clemson game two days after that, if you guys have had that limited amount of time to get ready for it. Yeah. I haven't even thought about that, Dave. I mean, all this has been like bang, bang, bang coming at us a million miles per hour. Um, uh, yesterday I was hopeful that we could play George Washington and then all that changed uh, last night. And uh, uh, so it's, uh, 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 it, I, Ask me that question maybe Monday or Tuesday. I'll be prepared to give you a better answer. Pete? You're still on mute, Pete. Gotcha. Hey, Frank. Um, hey, you talked about the kids, the guys' spirits. What can you and the other coaches do to keep their spirits up in isolation? Because it seems like you just got going with the season, and now you've got to take a step back. I mean, Pete, we got to trust in the fact that we communicated about all this possibly happening since we agreed to all of us sign up back in July. Yeah. And uh, um, and then we just got to keep communicating with them. The, the hardest part for everyone right now is that we can't, you know, we can't be around them. And it's not like we all quarantine together. It's uh, we're all kind of away. And um, uh, so it's that's the the difficult part from that standpoint um uh and then the other part is that that it's not like they can pack up and go home uh and then come back whenever we're cleared because then we'd have to take another uh you know pocket of uh, once we signed up for the season um we knew that this happened we couldn't go home we had to stay that way we can get back on the court as soon as possible uh, so it's, it's a complicated issue. It's not simple. Um, and, uh, we just, we, we got to stay positive, man. We got to stay positive and we got to stay in each other's corner and, um, and, uh, and, you know, and I, this too shall pass Pete. Colin. Yeah, Frank, I guess two questions for you, I guess, what's the testing protocol look like now? How often do you guys get tested and, what do those testing numbers have to look like for you guys to get back on the court and uh, kind of following up on that? What is y'all's roles as, as coaches over the next few days? What are you guys kind of focused on without being able to, I guess, be in the building? 
Yeah, we get tested uh, three day, three times a week per SEC protocol. And uh, um, uh, obviously when we had the positive tests, uh, those guys had to continue to get tested. Uh, to uh, I don't I don't know what it's called, uh, but it's the um, uh, it's the way to confirm a positive or, or or you know figure out if it was a false positive. Uh, so, um, but the rest of us, everyone else, get our test is scheduled for Saturday. Our next one's Saturday. We test again on Sunday, um, and then uh, based on uh, close contact protocol. <laughs> Uh, uh, based on, hold on for a second. I'm trying to get out of my car. Give me a second. How are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Apologize there, Colin. Based on um, the return to action for close contact, thank you, sir. Uh, for close contact, uh, we would all have to test negative again on Wednesday. Uh, for everybody to get going again. And what's y'all's role? Um, what are y'all as coaches kind of doing over the next, I guess, week now um, without being able to be in the office? Say that again. What do you, what's kind of the y'all schedule, y'all's role um, as well over the next couple of days without being in the office? Uh, You there, Colin? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, did you hear me? I guess no. What, I repeat it for me again, please. Yeah, sorry. Um, just what's y'all's role as coaches in the off? What's kind of y'all's plan over the next couple of days in terms of are y'all focusing more on recruiting, quality control analysis? What's kind of the the role there? Uh, I mean, I could give you some great uh, answer that we're gonna watch all this film and break all kinds of stuff down and make it sound like. Uh, we got all this work to do in reality. I don't know. I've never had seven days off at this time of the year. Uh, and and uh, right now, uh, yeah, as a staff, we're going to do some recruiting uh, and, and, and try and get us on Zoom calls. And more than anything, the assistants always do that. Me engage at this time of year to help them. Uh, but the, the, the right now, the most important part is that we stay engaged with our players uh, to make sure that they stay in the right place. Mitch? Coach, I know you said that this is all bang bang right now and you haven't really thought about even uh, next week or next Saturday. Is there a possibility that you guys could add some more non-conference games now that you had two games taken away from you? Yeah, absolutely, Mitch. It's, uh, uh, I spent all day today uh, having conversations, trying to find uh, the possible dates uh, that could work to possibly uh, pick up a couple games. Um, I think we got one date figured out, uh, but what happens is we're eliminating all these days that we can play now. And then we have to take three consecutive days off around Christmas. Um, so then that that's another three days on top of this where we cannot play. Um, so we're, we're, it's kind of a, some tight, tight windows. And I think we got one figured out. Uh, and uh, as soon as uh, we can finalize that, um, you know, we'll, we'll let you guys know. But, but here's something else to your question. Based on SEC medical protocol, uh, they asked us not to play more than two games in one week. Um, and uh, non-conference, that is. And uh, we pretty much, that eliminates another window. So we, we got to try and get clearance there from medical people um, to, to try and fit in games where we can Josh? Hey, Frank. Uh, you, this, you answered half of this before. We saw uh, Duke today say that they're going to basically cancel the rest of the non-conference schedule. So you you clearly never thought about taking that route. Do you, um, what do you think about Mike's comments in regard to whether or not y'all should be playing this whole thing at all? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have an opinion on – what he said one way or the other. I mean, I, I credit him for sharing his opinion and putting his name on it and not, not the popular, you know, uh, 
getting information from coaches that don't want to identify themselves. Um, uh, I, I think we need to play. Uh, I, what I'm done is traveling. I, I, I'm not going to travel again until we have to uh, play conference basketball games. Uh, you know, Josh, I, I said this earlier today. Uh, there's a pit, the doctors and the medical experts had opinions about this virus back in March. And as, a, as we've all lived for the last 10 months, those opinions have morphed and grown and changed and been adjusted as we all learn more. Uh, I think what we need to do is now that we've tried to make it work for the last, what, I don't know how long it's been a month, you know, uh, we, we need to realize like, okay, uh, we're trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. This doesn't fit. What can maybe we adjust uh, to, to continue to give these kids the opportunity to play uh, and, 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 and figure out a way of something that we can do uh, to, to, to protect the young people, protect the coaches, protect everyone's families that's involved in this. And at the same time, uh, you know, the mental health component, I, having our guys on campus is it gives our guys a sense of peace and, and safety. Uh, we've got a lot of people that care and spend a lot of time helping them. Uh, so I I'm, I'm all for playing. Uh, I, but I'm not against rethinking. We're trying to play our season the regular way in an irregular year that that doesn't fit. Uh, you know, everyone else, football, you know, the NBA, everyone, every sport organization has made adjustments. Uh, I think we need to maybe think about this at moving forward on what we can adjust to make it better. John? Yeah, uh, you may not want to share this, but how many, how many players have actually tested positive for, for you guys or, or staff members? And, and have you all been able to, to trace how it happened, how, how, how it happened, where, or where it came from? No, the tracing part of it's difficult. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we don't have uh, uh, the exact moment or, you know, all we know is that we got back from Houston and Houston announced they have positive tests and, and then our guys wanted to test. And so we had an additional test and that's when we found out uh, that we had positives. And John, I, I'd, I'd rather not get into specifics uh, as far as, number of players and, and things of that nature. Uh, I will say this, it's, it's not anyone on the staff. It's, it's only on the players right now.